Hello again. It's Julie with Reflections Framing and Stitching. I'm back to talk about the 25-7 challenge that I will be doing and I'm inviting you to do it with me if you would like. No pressure. Um, after we did the uh, Out of the Stash at Last challenge, I heard quite a bit of grumbling about how thanks to Julie you, they now had four more whips in their uh, arsenal. So um, I decided maybe I should try and come up with some way of whittling down some whips, which I am very bad at. I'm very good at starting things. I am not so great at finishing them anymore. Back in the day when I was a one-at-a-time stitcher, things got finished. Now I'm a start-it-all stitcher and um, you know, I, I I tend to have that whole squirrel thing going on where I'm really into a piece and then I see this next new piece and I want to start it and so I do because life's too short to deny myself the pleasure of starting something if I want to. Um, so I I kind of thought about what what I what I personally and this is based on on what I think I could do to make progress on on a whip and and it's not going to sound like it's much of a challenge but I did test the theory <laughs> I tested the theory and it is more of a challenge than what you might think um, so I, I named it the 25-7 challenge for a reason um, and that is because um, what I did was I stitched at minimum 25 stitches. I chose, I chose one whip that I had and I stitched a minimum of 25 stitches on it every single day. I knew if I had, if I was just saying, okay, I'm going to stitch on this piece until it was finished, that it would never happen. I'm, I, like I said, I like to start things so, and I like to work on what I want to work on when I want to work on it. So I knew I couldn't be too terribly rigid in coming up with something or I would fail. And I didn't want to fail, I wanted to succeed. So. I had originally thought, well, I could do 100 stitches a day. But for me, 100 stitches a day is a good hour or more, depending on the project, of stitching. And I just kind of felt I would be setting myself up for failure if I did that many. So then I thought, okay, well, how many stitches sounds reasonable that I think I could do every day and still make some progress and I decided that 25 seemed like a really good number. Uh, I can do 25 stitches in, in roughly 15-20 minutes depending on again what I'm stitching um, or, or 25 minutes so it's a it's either 25 stitches or 25 minutes. Um, And then I tested the theory. I chose I chose a piece that I had started, and I have been working on it since the end of Out of the Stash at Last. And I did. People kept bugging me to announce what Out of the uh, the Twenty Five Seven Challenge was. And I didn't want to announce it until I had actually finished the the whip, um, which I did night before last. Um, so Monday night, I finished it, and uh, so I knew it could work, and that is my is my my goal is to finish at least two more whips, and they're not I did not I did not choose large ones because I wanted to get a couple things finished, and I knew that choosing a large one would take me forever. So I wanted to I I chose some smaller pieces that. I had started 
and um, but I won't go into what I've chosen for for the challenge. The challenge is going to start January first. Um, you will need to sign up if you're going to join, and I do have a Facebook group set up that's private. Uh, so that which is why you'll need to send me an email and let me know that you want to join in this challenge. But anyway, just to go over it, I suck at explaining things. I'm, I'm sorry, my brain is all over the place. But anyway, um, so here's here's here. I have I have a cheat sheet. I'll just read off. So you're going to pick one whip that you most want to finish, and you're going to commit to stitching on that piece for either a minimum of 25 stitches or 25 minutes seven days a week. Um, you can stitch more on it if you want. I'm not, there's no penalty for stitching more. Uh, but, you, but, and realistically speaking, if you wanted to sit down and stitch your 25 stitches for however many 25 times 7 is, um, all in one go, that's entirely up to you. But sometimes there's going to be an extra special challenge. It's going to be random, it's, so it's not going to happen on a particular day, um, and it will vary in what that challenge is. Most of the time, thank you. It finally got done. You <laughs> had one more. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. Um, okay. Um, it, okay. So it'll probably have something to do with the number of stitches required for that particular challenge. So it's not going to be like, well, you got to stitch 25 red stitches because not everyone will have red in their piece. So it'll probably have to do with extra stitches for that particular challenge. Um, and let's, so, and yeah, so, um, so if you were to do all of your 25 stitches all in one day or something, just keep in mind that there there may be a special challenge that comes up where you're going to have to stitch more. So, um, and it will kind of mess up how how I'm going to keep track of who who is actually following the criteria because I'm going to ask you to take a picture after you have done your 25 stitches every day. I'm not going to ask you to post it every day. I'm going to ask you to take the picture and then at the end of that seven day period then you will post it on the Facebook group all seven pictures. it will kind of keep the page a little bit cleaner um, but it'll still keep track of your progress so that we can all see at the end of the week yeah you have made progress on that um, and that, that's, that's how I did uh, how I got this finished was I I, some days I did more, I, you know, but I did at least 25 stitches every day. And it, that was a challenge because there were some days I'd look at it and I'd go, oh, maybe I'll just stitch 50 stitches on it tomorrow. <laughs> but I knew if I went down that rabbit hole, oh, we'd be done. So I, I did stick to it. I did 25 stitches every day. Um, and I and it and it got me a finish, which is what the whole point was. So, um, what else can I tell you? Uh, to sign up or to let me know, I'm going to ask you to send a an email, and I haven't decided yet if I'll set up a separate email address for this so it doesn't get lost in amongst all the other. That's probably what I will do: is set up a separate email and I'll put that down in the box, the comment box below, and I'll have you send me an email stating that you wish to join the, the 25-7 challenge, and then I'll send you an invitation to join the Facebook group. Um, 
uh, and then you'll have to, like I said, uh, when you first when you when you first sign up, I'd like you to introduce yourself to the group once you get into the Facebook group, so that everyone knows who everyone else is, and then post a picture sometime before the first of January, which is when the challenge will start. You'll post a picture of where you are at before we start the challenge on your piece. So, and then after that, you won't post until the end of that seven day period. And then you'll post all seven days worth of your progress. Um, so you wanna make sure you take a picture every day of, of what you've stitched. Um, and I'll be keeping, like I said, I'll be keeping track of those participating uh, that way. And as far as how long this challenge is going to last, my goal is to finish two, so it'll, it's going to last at least that long, because this is really a challenge for me. I'm just in, inviting you guys to join in if you want. If everyone is still having a good time and is still, still uh, wanting to do it, we'll just keep going in perpetuity or however long, um, because God knows I have enough whips I could do this for the rest of my life and um, let's see if you have any questions please put them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them what else do I wish to say well you probably would like to see the one that I finished this is a la -dee da and I didn't grab the I think I have one chart of it over there um, I started this a year ago in November so it took me slightly over a year to get this finished which is kind of ridiculous for how little it is um, it's called a Merry Christmas sampler from Lottie Da and it looks like this um, I stitched it on 40 count vintage lentil from Lakeside Linens. I used the called for DMC, except the DMC color that the these uh, I didn't care for it. So I happened to have ye old gold sitting next to the my stitching chair, and I just used that. Um, what else can I tell you about this? I thought I was going to make it into a pillow, but I think I've decided to frame it. I don't know if I can, I can show you the mats and the frame, because I have them laying right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to triple mat it, so I have my suede mat on top, and I'll be using this frame. Um, it just is really pretty when it's, when it, when it's matted, and I tried to just put it in a frame, and it, I just couldn't find anything I liked, so sometimes when that happens, it's because the piece needs mats, and in this case, I felt it needed a mat, so it, it will be matted. Um, let's see, is there anything else I want to tell you about? the challenge. Mm, I don't think so. Just uh, the the new email address won't be in the won't be down below right away, so check back for that in the in, you know, maybe a day or two. And then you can send me email with your information. I'll need I'll need the email address that you you want to use um, that you use on Facebook, so I can send you the invitation to join the Facebook group. Um, other than that, I think that's it. While I was working on this uh, Christmas sampler, I was also working on my band sampler. And I'm happy to report that I have the first band completed. I did have to rip out about a week's worth of work because apparently I wasn't able to count that week <laughs> yeah. and I had a mistake and 
I try real hard not to fudge things because it just ends up screwing me up in the end. So I ripped it out and started over. So I got that band finished. I'm working on the first band of words. Um, I'm about halfway done with that. And I've started the, the second decorative band. Um, as long as I had it I had you know I use Q snap when I when I stitch and there was still empty space where I could start that band that next band before moving the Q snap so I figured why not just get what I could get done before I move the Q snap um, so it's coming along nicely I'm happy with happy with how it's looking um, I'm looking forward to getting further on it. I didn't stitch last night. Uh, I zoomed with Mary and Donna and talked to them a little bit about the challenge. They're both going to be doing the, the challenge with me. So I hope some of you are interested in doing it. Uh, I know it, like I, it doesn't sound really hard, but that every single day thing is actually harder than you might think. But again, it's only 25 stitches, so everyone can find 15 minutes in their day to do 25 stitches. I found that a lot of times I could do it between eating breakfast in the morning and leaving to come to the shop. Um, I usually have about 15 minutes where I either watch a, a YouTube video or sometimes I would read, but I found that I could, I, I had that 15 minutes and it helped me, um, helped me a lot to, to know that, okay, that was, that was going to now be part of my routine. Not every day was I able to do that, but, um, and usually the days when I found it a struggle to get, to do the 25 stitches were the days that I didn't do it in the morning and that I waited until after work and after work I kind of wanted to just work on the band sampler or on one of the other hundreds of things I have going so I found that to be it was more of a struggle in the evening um, than it was in the morning to pick it up and do it so uh, just a little helpful hint there that maybe if you find the same time of day every day maybe it's maybe you put it up by your bed at night and do it the 15 minutes before you go to go to sleep however if you're really tired at night you might end up making mistakes then so that might not be the best time you'll find what works for you um, and like I said there'll be random challenges uh, that will be announced like the night before and they'll be announced on the Facebook group um, so they'll be announced like okay let let's pick a day let's say um, let's say February 12th was my dad's birthday so I'm going to announce the night before so on the 11th oh hey in honor of my dad we're going to do 12 extra stitches tomorrow so it's not going to be okay you need to do 200 stitches it won't be anything it won't be anything uh, that you can't reasonably get done um, because I, I you know I don't want it to stress people out I, I want you to succeed I want me to succeed and if I make it too too much I won't do it because you know the call of the other charts is always going to be there um, but those will be like I said those will be announced on the Facebook group page the night before so you will need to check you will need to check the the, the group check in every day would be a good idea um, there will be an occasional uh, drawing for a chart or skein of floss or nothing earth shattering but but there will be occasional giveaways and we'll just kind of go along and see how we 
we do. Um, I think one of the ones that I'm going to try and get done is the samplers chart that I've started from the Scarlet House. That's, I don't know, maybe almost halfway done. And, I, and I'd really like to get it done. So I think that will be the one that I work on first, maybe. Possibly. We'll see. <laughs> I, I could change my mind. There's still, what, two weeks before the beginning of the year? Um, two and a half weeks? I could change my mind in that amount of time. Uh, so anyway, if you have questions, please put them below and I will try and answer them. And um, again, check for that new email address. I'll put that in the box below. Um, that way I won't miss anyone and all the other stuff that comes into the shop's email address. And that I think is is everything that I have to say about this. I'm sure as soon as I'm done, I will think of something I should have said. But hopefully not. And it's getting on to noon now, so I'm going to get this uploaded and posted along with the other video that I've already done. And uh, clean up the shop a little bit because it's kind of a mess. I was I was working on some framing, some pinning. So there's stuff all over the tables. And I do have appointments coming in, so um that's it. That's all I have. Take care till next time. Get some stitching done. Figure out what your project is gonna be, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. I'm back. I did think of something I wanted to say. As I was watching the video back, because I always do that to make sure I don't look like a total and complete idiot, um, at one point when I was talking about how you're going to post the pictures just once a week, I said something about, and you won't post until the end of that week again. Um, that did not mean you can't post on the, the group page and chat amongst each other and encourage each other. Um, I, in fact, I want you to do that. Just I don't want you to post your progress pictures until the end of each week uh, because otherwise it's going to get difficult to figure out uh, which, which, who's done what. So please feel free to chat amongst yourselves on the page. Um, no drama, please. No politics. Um, no religion. Keep it, keep it friendly and helpful and encouraging, and we'll get along just fine. Uh, so that's it. That's all I had. Take care. Bye.